the fact that it's 75 years really isn't a big deal. I mean, every day is a big deal um, when you have a regulatory statute that's purpose has has morphed into a, an effort really to protect investors. Its very existence acts as a, um, a North Star, as a, a guiding light, you might say, for the behavior of people who deal with the retail public. Think of the Advisors Act as the girl's dorm and the Exchange Act and the, what NASD now FINRA does as the boys' dorm. You know that one of them is is cloaked in virtue, you know, dressed in a, a an ethereal gown. The other is these animals trying to storm the. Now that's a gross exaggeration, and I know it, but it it to some extent answers the question of what has the Advisors Act done. It, it's it's set a model for for the way one could receive unconflicted advice. The Exchange Act and the 33 Act, the two laws that were first passed, are laws of sales. Disclose, disclose, disclose. And, and by the way, disclose. Did, I, did you hear me? Disclose. Disclose conflicts of interest. And also, by the way, you're not just a salesman if you're a broker. You have to worry about whether the recommendation is suitable for your client. You know. You, you can't say, as you could if you were a car salesman, well, I thought Grandpa really should have gotten that Lamborghini. I mean, that, you can't do that in the securities field. If you're a broker and you're recommending a security to somebody, you have to assure that it's you know, suitable. If I needed investment advice, I don't because my husband thinks he knows everything. So. But if I needed investment advice, I would go to a fee-only investment advisor. That's where I would go. I would think, I don't want to be particularly sold a product at the end of all this. I want somebody to look at where my investments are and tell me, I, you know, I, we're at, at 73, you know, do, do we have enough to not be out on the street with a cup if we let, live longer than we think we're going to live? So what I think, I don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of politics, there's a lot of strong feelings, but I do think investment advisors are critically important to our uh, economic well-being going forward, and I certainly do think of it as a profession that is coming into its own, and I think the IAA is a, a good part of that story. The Advisors Act, uh, what is it? If there wasn't one, it would be necessary to invent one. But fortunately, there is one.